What's up, guys? I oh, my hair is getting so long; it's just sticking out of everywhere. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for joining me for my live today. I have some pretty exciting news. I am getting back into the con circuit. Although you guys haven't seen me at very many, because uh, I have taken a little bit of a break. Uh, I will start up here again, and I will be starting to do a few more coming up. So, we are actually going to try to get my lovely friends from the Capitola Collector Con up in the mix. I don't see them yet, so we'll just keep going live. Hope you're doing well. If you got any questions from me, what is up, Texas? How you doing? What it do? Uh, oh, my friend Lee Scott. How you doing, Lee? I hope my little niece is doing well. I hope you're doing well and your beautiful wife also. Hello, Chile. How are you? I am Daniel Logan. This is my office. As you can see, I have collected quite a few helmets. Yes, that is correct. I have myself uh, a chrome fix, although you might look at it like, well, is that Dingen's helmet? No, that is the chrome fit from EFX. That is correct. My bounty is on you. How are you? All right, guys. Well, I'll wait for my good friends at the Capitola Collector Con to join us. Until they join us, I'll just start sticking on some of my helmets. This is the Dingen Mandalorian helmet. That is correct. What is up with that? I think you all know what's going on. I don't want to make any more spoilers for you. Uh, this is my OG Boba Fett. Oh, I can barely put it on. My head's so big nowadays. Uh, <clears throat> let me try to stick this on again. I still can't stick it on. My head is so big, I can't even put on the helmet anymore. Oh my goodness. There's a reason why they haven't called me back yet. Well, let's try to stick this one on. There you go. It fits. Hello, how are you? I'm Boba Fett. What's up? I'm Boba Fett. All right, guys. Well, enough of that. Let's see if my good friends at Cla uh, Capitola Collecticon are ready. And if they are, we'll bring them on. And we're going to share some really exciting news about a convention that's coming to Northern California. That is correct. March 4th, 5th, and 6th, I, myself, Don Bees, John Morton, uh, Dickie Bear, and Mark Austin are all going to be in Santa Cruz, California for the Capitola Co uh, Collector Con. There he is. How do I bring him up? Go live with Capitola. Uh, yes, so there's going to be five fans, guys. There's going to be an awesome, amazing, fun, uh, wonderful time. What we're going to do is actually do a feast with the fets. So if you guys are interested in wondering how the fets eat, if they eat with their mouth closed, if they eat with their mouth open, or if they even eat at all, if they eat meat, or if they eat vegetarian, we will be eating together at the collector. Oh, hey, Rob. What's up, man? Collector, collector Con in Santa Cruz, March 4th, 5th, and 6th. Yes, sir. What's up, Rob? How you doing, my man? Good, brother. Good, brother. We just interviewed Don Bees a little bit ago, and Don is super excited because he doesn't do a lot of these cons. So <laughs> he said he's looking forward to it. There are two Fets he's never met, so it's going to be kind of cool that you're all together in a room together. Exactly. What's up, everybody? I see all your guys' uh, comments. I see all your guys' love. Hello, hello, hello. How you doing? If you guys want to join me and my Fet brothers, Rob, tell them. All about the con. Tell them about the other three or uh, two days that isn't going to have the fets, but are going to have amazing other actors. So Friday night, well, thank you, Daniel, for having me come on your live tonight. You're welcome. You're welcome. Welcome. Um, honored to meet one of my heroes as a kid growing up. So, um, and thank you for taking part of the Capitola Collecticon. Uh, Cruising to Wellness is my CBD brand, along with Hadbro Toys, which is the toy and comic store at the Capitola Mall. We decided to put together a little con for the <laughs> as, as a, I hate driving to Sacramento or LA or San Diego and getting horrible tickets because everybody jumps on. Cause you know, Comic Cons tickets go out in three minutes and then you're like, yeah, shell amen. oh no, stuck with Sunday. The good panels are over. <laughs> so what we're doing, Friday night is our VIP night. Um, this is a special limited ticket that is available to just the vendors and 50 people. You get to meet Chris Reed from Sons of Anarchy, guy, and James Durbin, who was on season 10 of American Idol. He was also the lead singer for Quiet Riot for a little bit. He's voiced some Star Wars characters, and he's also voiced the guy Turbo Man, which is right over here over my shoulder from Funko Action Figure. He's going to be there signing autographs. Look at that, yeah. Um, <laughs> Saturday um, is Sons of Anarchy. We have Ryan Hurst, who played Opie. He was also in... 
Saving Private Ryan. He was in Remember the Titans. He was in a bunch of other movies. Uh, and Ryan Hurst also is one of the nicest guys on the convention circuit. If you actually meet him, you actually, uh, I, 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 I was thrown back because I was like, I was so scared of you from Sons of Anarchy. And you, I meet you and you're the nicest guy on earth. And you, you're like, you stand like this much taller than me. Yeah, he's like six four, six six. Yeah, I met him in a parking lot. And uh, I remember walking up to him being like, oh man, should I say hi? And he ends up being like, the nicest guy that I, one of the nicest guys that I've talked to. Hey, let me get my hat back on, straight back with my helmet. So in addition to Ryan Hurst and Chris Reed and Natalie Skye, who were on Sons of Anarchy, one of my all-time favorite actors, Tom Sizemore, is going to be here in attendance as well. Tom is an amazing guy, too. Uh, Cesar Garcia, who was on Breaking Bad, Fast and the Furious, he'll be here. Um, and, and a really cool person, um, Mary Gibbs, who is the voice of Boo. <laughs> So for all you parents out there, if you want to come to a con with your kids, that will give them an awesome experience and maybe even talk to Boo, like Boo. Yep. Kitty! This is a fun co-pop that we have available at the show. And then on Sunday, it's Star Wars Sunday featuring Daniel Logan, that guy right there. We just interviewed Don Bees. Don Bees is the man. I, I've known Don since I was uh, 12 or 13 years old. And... Uh, Real quick to tell you a quick story before you introduce everyone else. So Don Bees is the kind of guy that you can fall in love with in a second. So what happened was he actually was the uh, animatronic guy for uh, who controlled RTD2 on my episodes. And my Nana was actually sick of cancer. And uh, I had brought her out on the set. But not only did she have cancer, she also had polio. So one foot was a little smaller than the other. So she hobbled everywhere she went. And Don allowed me to take RTD2 and chase my Nana around the cafe or cafeteria of um, the Lucasfilm set. Uh, and it was the funniest thing. And everyone was like, what is R2-D2 chasing that old lady around? And it was really me controlling R2 chasing my Nana, which was one of the coolest memories that we got to share from, uh, from episode two. So that was a cool story. Actually, I haven't really shared very much with people. So I'm looking forward because we're going to go out to dinner uh, one night, the five fets, myself, and a couple other yep. people. But we're going to sit and actually, I just want to be a fly on the wall just to watch <laughs> I interact with each other. So what other fests do we have coming, Rob? So besides you and Don Bees, Dickie Morton is coming. No, no, Morton. Dickie Bear. You put them both together. <laughs> the two B, the double D and Bs. And we got the <laughs> uh, Mark Austin, who was in Star Wars A New Hope Special Edition. Um, so those are the five fests. And then we have uh, one of the original Jawas from A New Hope, um, Tim Donaldson is coming. Um, you know what was crazy is that I didn't realize until I saw your um, post of him that there was another kid that actually grew up Star Wars. Because I kept saying to myself, there was only me, um, Jake Lloyd, yep. Kenny Baker, and um, um, Warwick Davis yes. were the main three. But I also forgot he was one of the main, uh, another kid who got to grow up Star Wars. He told me the story where he was at an elementary school in Southern California where they were filming and George Lucas went to the school to try and find kids that size to wear the Jawa costume. And he just happened to fit. His sister was an inch too tall, so she didn't get to be in it. So he was paid 25 bucks for two days of filming on A New Hope. So when they attack R2 in A New Hope, he's yeah. one of the that runs around and helps lift him and carry him. So- No! Yeah. 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 And oh, so, how cool would that have been? Um, then we also have C. Andrew Nelson, who played Darth Vader on Darth Star Vader. Anybody. Alan Fernandez, who was an original Tuscan Raider from A New Hope, is going to be there. And then besides you co-headlining... Emily Swallow! Emily, uh, the armor on... <laughs> And if you haven't seen last night's episode, if you we're not going to spoil it, but we're not going to spoil it. You know that there is an armorer that does the molding for the best guard. So yes. if you want some uh, armor from the best uh, armorer there is in the galaxy, Emily Swallow is your lady. Yeah. You know what? To tell you the I'm, truth, I saw oh, Emily in Salt Lake City Comic Con. Yep. And uh, we we uh, we rode over in a car together, and they were like, "Oh, Daniel, do you mind if we put Emily in your car?" And I'm like, "Oh, heck yes, put her in." So she sat in the car and I just turned around. I was in the front seat. I turned around. I just sat there talking to her for about, I want to say, 
a good 20 minutes, 15 minutes, and I just adored her. I was like, Emily, I love what you do with the character. I love what you do with the fans. You're the kindest, sweetest person. It's people like you that allow Star Wars to continue to grow and be as phen uh, phenomenal as it is. And uh, she was like, oh my goodness, I didn't realize. And I'm like, you are wonderful. Not only have you done great for the presence of Star Wars, but when you go to the cons, you're such a lovely person that it just makes it worth coming and seeing you. Yeah. So that's another thing I want to say about Emily, just because I'm a fan of hers too. Yeah, and, and the funny thing was that people don't know that you were on the fence about coming to our con and Emily was on the fence about coming. <laughs> and Don was on the fence about coming. <laughs> and when you said you're in, you, Emily said she's in, and then I messaged you, I texted you, and said, hey, Emily's coming. You're like, I'm coming, count me in. Who do you exactly. want? Exactly. <laughs> don't know. Daniel was very instrumental. Yes in getting all of the five fets together in one room. We together, Daniel and I, have been able to do something that not even Star Wars Celebration <laughs> has been able to do. Five fets in the same room at the same time to sign And if you have got your chance to get the dinner ticket, you would be able to sit with five of us at dinner while we Lucid. get the devour there was, only 20, there was only 25 of those tickets. And that is being sponsored by Pono Hawaiian Kitchen and Grill. Some of the amazing food here in Santa Cruz. Um, we know you're from the islands and, and stuff like that. And <laughs> phenomenal. Um, so also I want to say thank you to Bubba Fett Fan Club for yep. getting out this shirt for the lives today. <laughs> we have a media road, Daniel. We have about eight podcasts that have any just everything to do with Star Wars. That is next time. Talking. I'm gonna have to get you to wear a Bounty Boxes T-shirt. So Send me one, bring me one. I'll wear it all day long. If you haven't already, check out my Facebook group, Bounty Boxes, because that is the best group on Facebook. I see some of my guys like uh, Edward Gomez right now checking us out, saying hi. I love you all. Speaking of Bounty Boxes, why don't we do something cool for the Bounty Box fans? What do you want to do? I have the fun code pop Boba Fett. Why hang don't on, hang on, hang on? We could do better. Well, okay. I have a Funko Boba Fett. Wait, 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 wait! I have two Funko Boba Fetts, and we just happen to have all different Funkos. How do you like that? How about that? So I think what we should do is. Daniel, we should do a raffle at the con um, yeah. and maybe do it to where if you jump in on the raffle during the con, if you're there or if you're not there, we can send it to you later on. We will get all five Fets to sign these Funkos. And then not only, not only will there be one winner, I guess, there could be, actually, let's throw this in the mix while it's sitting here. And, and that's why not chuck one of these in the mix too? So if you come out to collect a, 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 a Capitola Collector Con, there will be raffle tickets that you could win either this, which will be signed by six Fets, I guess, because we have Django Fett, which was predated on his Boba Fett reappearance. Um, we will do uh, a Black Series, six inch, that's already been signed by me and the lovely Mark Austin. Um, and then all the rest will be signed in it. We have the Boba Fett uh, 297, that's signed by three of us, that obviously we'll get the other two Fets to sign. And, we have this beautiful guy that is not yet signed. It's a virgin that will get all the fets assigned, plus your fets. I have a question for you, Daniel. Yeah. I have one of those that is not painted. How about we make some time in the green room for you to color that one? So what, it is this one? A true. That's the prototype that is blank, correct? Yeah, it is. What if we got you some markers and you colored that one? That would be and awesome. And off, off as a true one of one that was hand painted by you. Do you know what? That's crazy because I've never ever painted one of these before. And you know what, Rob? That is a great idea. And I'm willing to do it. So, you know what? If you come out to Capitola uh, Collecticon in Santa Cruz, yep. um, you might be one of the lucky winners to win one of these fets. And one Rob has just made fets. it up. I've just agreed to it. Uh, yeah, I will literally hand paint this with my Sharpies. Um, and one of you guys will win a prototypes. You will have a by me, I guess. 
true one of one Funko Pop. We're going to put the exclusive Capitola Collecticon sticker on it. Like, that would be awesome. Like we have for the Opie Winston Pops. The <laughs> Capitola Collecticon. And well, I was talking to Don Bees a little earlier ago, and I have a. Bro, hang on. Real quick, they want to know when is the con? Con is March 4th, 5th, and 6th in Capitola, California. We are okay. just west of Santa Cruz, or west of San Jose. So if you fly into the San Jose airport, drive west to the water, two miles down to the left, that's where we're going to be. We have- so We're going to be in Santa Cruz, and yeah. our, our show is going to be March the 6th, where you're going to see all of the FETs, right? All the Star Wars, all the FETs. So my Star good Wars. best friend, Edward Gomez, there's your answer, my brother. I hope you and your wife, I hope your wife is doing well. Sorry, I just have a really good friend right now who just asked when it's going to be. He's in California, but his wife just went through surgery. Oh. Um, and, but she's gone through it, so she's come out the other side, and she's doing really well. That's awesome. But uh, he just wanted to know. Oh, my best friend's online, too. Reese, hello. All right, sorry. Carry on. So, Doc, sorry about I, about the, I got ADHD. I'm sorry. I got dyslexia, bro, ADHD, me too. And, everything. And what really works great for ADHD is Center CBD Beverage. These guys are sponsoring the VIP night. So, we'll all get right. CBD products, too. But what I talked to Don. With all, the, with all the extra stresses that are going on with the world right now, I think something like that would actually help especially me out. I mean, I've been, uh, I've well, been on a lot of stress with all my different companies. So I think we should try it out. Yeah, you guys are going to get to come to my shop and get your little gift bags with gummies and tinctures and all that stuff. But I talked to Don earlier. I have a signed framed 16 by 20 of Jeremy Bullock that what we're going to do is we are going to have every one of you guys sign it. We're going to raffle it off at the show Friday, Saturday. Then at, Love you, Lee. Then at noon, we're going to pick the winner. The winner is going to go behind stage with you guys. You're going to sign it. All the money that we raise from that picture is going to be donated to the Grant Imahara Foundation that Don Bees is president of. Oh, so you know that me and Grant Imahara were really good friends, right? Yes, I do. Uh, so I, I don't want to tell you guys too much because I know this is a kid-friendly show, but we had a little too much of the uh, holy water one night, and uh, somehow I end up in a field, and uh, Grant ends up finding me with the taxi driver. I mean, it was like literally one of those moments where it's like a, like a movie where you run out on the street, and you're like, save me, save me, they're trying to kidnap me. And then this happens to be your kidnapper, which was Grant Imahara, was in the taxi with the taxi driver that I was trying to find my way back home with. I, uh, I, it's pretty I would be so honored to, I, to, uh, to actually, I, I would be so honored to donate a few more things um, at the show for the Grant Imahara um, uh, Foundation because you know what? There was only one man from Mythbusters that really took my heart away. And to be honest, uh, Grant was that guy. I mean, he always brought his energy. He always brought the love to the fans. And um, it was just such a sudden loss. I mean, I, I, I do truly uh, miss the guy. The whole uh, science community for the collector. Yeah. Grant was an amazing individual. Um, it's really nice to see that him and Don uh, forged a bond that when Grant passed, that Don took the reins over for the foundation. And I have a second one of those uncolored. So if we want to do two raffles. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Funds for the Grant Himahara Foundation. Let's kill it, man. Let's let's let's, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. To, to be honest, Grant Himahara is literally one of the people that I will hold dearly and true to my heart for the rest of my life. He, um, I mean, we weren't even from the same franchise, and yet we just became best friends. Well, the way we became best friends is actually we both did the. Um, it was called um, Star Trek Continues, and. Uh, it was a Star Trek show that it had a lot of amazing people on it. But uh, Grant was one of the navigators, and I was became one of the navigators. And uh, one day I walk in, and Grant's just like looking at all the all of the buttons, and he's pushing all the buttons. And I'm like, Grant, listen, if this was your car, if this was your spaceship, you would know exactly where every button is. You don't see when a pilot goes into his into the air, airplane, right? And he's like, oh, where is this button? Oh, where? Like, yeah, they do with uh, some of them. But majority of the buttons like doo, 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 but they're still looking forward or looking and talking to someone else where they're like, hey, look, da, 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 because it becomes um, basically like second nature. Like you've already done it too many times that you surely know what every single button is. And he turned to me and he goes, 
I am so grateful for your advice. And I remember when I gave him the advice, I mean, my clothes were like, if this was my leg, the pants underneath the table came up to about here because I wasn't, they weren't my, they weren't my clothes. It was someone else's clothes that I kind of like just took the, took the role from because they weren't available that week. Um, but he literally said, I'm so grateful for that because no one else had given him that part of advice and it totally made sense to him. And then that's when it was his birthday. We went out, we had fun. I got lost in some kind of paddock or field somewhere far, far away in a galaxy far, 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 even far away. And uh, yeah, he came and uh, he rescued me. So I would be so honored to, uh, you know, give back to a friend that uh, I miss and cherish so much. And we, we all miss him. And um, it, it's going to be great to have you guys here. I know it, it's tough for you guys to, especially not just one of you, two of you to get together at a time. But right. all five of you guys is just going to be amazing. And I brought it up to Don earlier. <laughs> there were eight guys that played Boba Fett for six minutes of screen time. So each of you guys got like 42 seconds. <laughs> One of the biggest Star Wars gets that everybody wants is like, holy crap. Like when I said Daniel Logan is coming to our event, like my, I am, my DMs blew up. Pe people <laughs> and when you said, hey, like, you would call me and say, hey, Robbie, what are you doing? I'm like, Daniel, what's going on? He goes, I got another fit for you. I was like, what? And then she <laughs> like, oh, Robbie, I got you another one. And I'm like, I look at the phone and go, it's Boba Fett. Like, when I I, I remember at one point we had to ask what budget you were working with. I'm like, look, I got, like, maybe four. It could possibly be five. Is that good? And you're like, Daniel, whatever. Then, I'll take out another loan just to bring all five. And I was like, you are mad, but you are awesome and uh, you know, that's why Star Wars I just can't wait to come. I've been a Star Wars kid. Your show. <clears throat> and my mom brought me opening night, May 25th, 1977, to movie land in Yonkers, New York, to see a movie called Star Wars. I guess I was driving her crazy, so she said, let's go to a movie. And she walked up the ticket booth and said, whatever's showing next, I need to go to. And it was Star Wars. So much that I am also a member of the 501st. Nice! I'm trooper. And I have my TK right here. All right, all right, all right, all right. If you want to start showing off, uh -oh. well, then let me start showing off. Bring it. So just because I played Boba Fett means I have to really, really love the character. I have my own seven-foot IG-88 that actually glows. So if I plug his eyes, if I plug his head in, he'll actually glow red. He's... uh. He stands a, a heck of a lot taller than me, as you can see. Not that that's any, uh, not that that's very hard, because obviously I'm very, very short. But I have also become a, an honorary member, uh, an honorary member of the Five First, and I have my very own armor. Yes, this is my armor. The man, the myth, the wonderful man, Mr. Wasted Fett. He made, uh, he made it possible by bringing all of the. Um... Oh, and in the back, if you guys are interested, what are all of these? These are the first 21 back Star Wars completed series besides the Boba Fett because I thought it would be cool to maybe try to pretend like I wanted to sell it. And someone was so interested, they bought it. And I was so depressed that I don't have it anymore. <laughs> as you can see, I got, I got myself on my, uh, on my wall as well. Screaming that you sold it. <laughs> I am a little sad. I've been trying to buy another one since I sold it. Uh, I haven't been able to find another one so far. But I do believe I will just because that's the word of Star Wars. Well, I tell you what, if anybody out there that's watching this or will watch the repeat, if you can find that for Daniel, <laughs> we'll hook you up with a VIP pass <laughs> weekend. And, and then you still have to pay for it. <laughs> and autograph for all the fets. So you show up with that figure, and I'm going to comp you the whole weekend. Hey, you, you know what? I would literally buy it for what it's worth. That figure is worth about maybe 5000 right now. So, I mean, I would have to talk to my son, see if he was willing to, like, maybe, you know, eat top of ramen and rice for about a month, and uh, maybe we can make this happen. <laughs> so, somebody just put up a question. What are your thoughts on the Book of Fett? You know what? Um, I was asked when I did the uh, interview. If you guys have seen the interview on this, oh, my hair is so long now. Sorry, guys. I'm, like, insecure I'm, about I'm, all my fluff on the sides. Um, I was asked, but it wasn't that's released did, on the interview I'm, I'm, about the haircut. What was that? That's why you need to come do conventions so you can get a haircut. No, no, my son has his long, has his long hair. 
So I've been growing up, well, and also some of the roles I've been playing lately have uh, needed long hair. But my son has long hair, so I figured I want to make it to where he's feeling accepted so that I'm going to grow my hair out just so he feels like, you know, there's other males and men out there that have the same kind of look as he does. Um, and that's kind of why I've kind of grown it as long. Uh, plus, it's helped me for all my uh, my latest projects. Um, I forgot what I was saying before that. I got ADHD to the max. Me too, man. C CBD beverage, it's going to help. Trust me. Well, it, hopefully it will. Hopefully it will. Uh, uh, as long as it's only CBD. That's it. CBD only. Center CBD well, beverage. You never know. You might have me drinking those every single day, as long as it helps my focus. Um, I'll make sure a few cases get to your house before the con. I'll talk to you. <laughs> uh, what was I saying before that? Uh, you were talking about what new projects you were. Oh, we're talking about Book of Fett. Oh, yes, yes. So the Book of Fett. So the greatest thing for me is that we've all had different generations. When I came out as Boba Fett in episode two, I had all of these people messaging me, oh, you sucked. You were the worst thing. I didn't imagine your face being underneath that helmet, this and this. And as a little kid, I took it personally because I was like, well, why are these people hating me? But I didn't realize that it takes about 10 years for them to start to like you again and love you and appreciate you. And it, it's because Jeremy Bullock did such a great job in, in the original films from his, his uh, arrival in Empire Strikes Back back in the early, what, I don't say 80s, but he came on in 1979 with the original, oh, yeah. with the original Fets. Um, but then the next generation came through and that was my generation. And George Lucas allowed me to be the prequel Boba Fett, which is growing up through all these years now, which people my age are now saying, well, no, Daniel Logan is our Boba Fett. But now because Star Wars is, is so generational, it has now became the next generation's Boba Fett. And that's where Tim Wayne Marson has been doing, I think, amazing job. I mean, we all have our backstories. We all have our love for Star Wars and especially this character Boba Fett. But I think it's going to take a few more years for the generation to catch up and really truly appreciate what Lucasfilm and Disney are actually producing and bringing to, to, to the table. Um, and I mean, it's, just, it's, it's a generational thing. I mean, I got it from the original fans. Uh, I think now Tim's getting it from the prequel fans. But then his fans in 10, you know, 15 more years will actually truly appreciate just having Star Wars back. And then uh, especially um, characters like Boba Fett, you know, and which everybody's been waiting so long for. Yeah. And having Dave Filoni and Jon Favreau take over the franchise, I think that is amazing. You know, when I talked with Don earlier today, we talked about that. And even Don had said the franchise is in good hands with those two guys, that Filoni is almost like a little... Luke. Oh, no. Dave Filoni is a walking encyclopedia of Star Wars. He was literally given George Lucas's brain. But check this out. So I've been, I've been getting a lot of comments and a lot of messages online. When are we going to get to see these two come back and do and what we wanted to see? The fight the duel between Cad Bane and Boba. But get this. Look at this. It says... Right here, this is from Dave. It says, Daniel, thanks for your great work on the show. You don't have the force, but Boba doesn't need it. Uh, and then right here, you have um, uh, Cor uh, Corey Burton, who played C Cad Bane. And he says, Daniel, your talents are stellar. You kill me. Best always, Corey Burton. So <laughs> it's one of those things that my son will be able to cherish and he'll be able to have. And that was another generation, which we end up te technically forgetting, which was that Clone Wars era of um, so much backstories and stuff like that, that have become such a big part of Star Wars also. And, and it's nice how the Book of Fett has incorporated with the, the dream sequence in having them go back to, hey, what happened to Boba? <laughs> and how the Tuscans raised him. So a lot of it is putting everything back together in, this, in the universe. Yeah. And having the, and the director that directed episode five, I stayed up till two o'clock this morning because <laughs> after watching it. I can't watch it like the day of. I gotta watch it right at midnight when it comes out because I will toss and turn and watch it on my phone. So I hunkered down in my living room and there you guys are. And seeing the, the, the dream sequence back to you looking over your shoulder out the window, other actors are playing you now. 
But seeing that on like episode one and two and three, I was like, oh my God, there's my hero. There's Daniel Logan. There, 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 ha, ha. <laughs> so, See, and that's the thing that like uh, Lucasfilm, they called me right before it. They were like, hey, Daniel, this and this, uh, you're going to be, you know, in, in, in one of the episodes. And uh, I saw the first episode. I'm like, yes, I came back. Because most of my prayers, and it's funny because I pray every night. I mean, I just, that's just what I do. And uh, my prayers are always Lord. Please hope that, oh, it used to be, please hope that George Lucas is thinking about me as much as I'm thinking about him. And then the same and vice versa, I pray to George Lucas. George Lucas, please remember me and hopefully that God will bless me to be in another Star Wars film. Uh, hello, my moose. This is my son right here. Hi, bud. He just showered. He's like me. He doesn't like to get washed. Mwah. Hey, go to mommy. Go get a chocolate. Say, mommy, I want chocolate. Hey, Daniel, I have a question for you. Yeah. <laughs> There is doesn't feel very happy about your question. There's a gentleman that's on right now, Cal Elite Sports Cards. Yep. He is one of our sponsors. He has bought some Star Wars wax packs, and he's wondering if you sit with him and they open these packs, if they pull out a Daniel Logan card, will you <laughs> autograph it so that they can also donate that to uh, the Imahara Foundation? Well, I have a best friend. His name's Colin Poole. And if I find Daniel Logan, I might end up stealing it and put it in my pocket just because my friend is such a big fan of me that I might have to take it from him. Um, no, but yes, uh, out of all seriousness, of course, I would love to, uh, anything to, to give back to charity. I mean, at this point in time in life, we have to remember those that were so great that even their name lives on beyond, um, you know, when they're gone. And I mean, I think that's one of the greatest things about Jeremy Bullock is that he made such an impact on this earth that, you know, he will never be forgotten, and just the same as Grant. So, yeah, I'd love to sit down and open up some packs. I mean, actually, I'll show you something real quick. Uh oh, here we go, people. I only don't only collect uh, figures, helmets, and and props. I actually collect cards too. So I've been a big collector of cards, and I've done the chases. I've chased down all like cards and cards and cards. So these were just sitting on my desk. But yeah, I would love to. I mean. You know, I, I am I am another person who loves cards. I love opening up the tops cards and all the rest of them. So yeah, I'd be very honored to uh, to to do that. N not a problem at all. Awesome. And then just to let you know too, we have a full media row of a lot of podcasts that are coming that are all Star Wars right. that would like to talk with you and Don and Mark and Dicky and. <laughs> See now you ask me live when I can't say no. I love this. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, I mean. <laughs> no, I no. Let's do it. I mean, I haven't had very many interviews. Um, I think with the whole new hype, um, with my ADHD and my non-filtered thoughts, I had to hone in basically like um, uh, all of my interviews, just because I do get carried away. Um, I'm like the Spider-Man kid of Star Wars. If if they let me run too long, I might start spilling the beans. You know what I mean? I forget what a Tom Tom Tom, Tom Holland. Well, I'll have yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. you. I, I, Start going off script. I'll do that little pinch like Schwartz <laughs> and say, "Hey, nice to meet you. Good to see you. Next, how are you doing?" <laughs> it's too late by that point, you know. So I have to always worry about if I'm giving away too much or if uh, I'm giving enough. But yeah, no, I'd love to do some interviews. Well, um, Aaron Holder just said we need to do another dinner. So here's what we're what Daniel, Dale and I, Daniel and I are going to team up and do another Star Wars convention. At another time, we, we're not, we can't call it Star Wars convention because the mouse will get very upset and then I'll get a letter. <laughs> so we're going to do another show maybe in the fall or next year where both days are Star Wars actors. So Aaron, actually, Aaron Holder, he is actually, um, he's my webmaster over on Bounty Boxes. Where's nice. my sticker gun? Um, I love the guy. He's the one who basically allows my Bounty Boxes group to, uh, to flow just naturally and uh, without him, Bounty Boxes wouldn't actually exist. So um, he's always got good questions. He should have asked me that one. So I was already prepared for it so that we could tell him. I'd say, no more dinners. I'll end up looking like Jabba the Hutt. You know, all these meals I'll be eating. I'll end up looking. I I've got to get back into Boba shape, you know? Hey, there's, hey, expect there's expectations. I, I can do Boba shape too, see? Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. Say it again. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> There's expectations when it comes to playing this character nowadays, you know? <laughs> yeah. But, um, and, you know, I want to thank you. And for those of you who are just coming in, uh, Daniel Logan, uh,
Dicky Beard, Don Bees, Mark Anthony Austin, and John Morton, who we're very grateful to have, um, are all going to be at the Capitol Electicon on March 6th for our Star Wars Day, along with Emily Swallow, who played an amazing armor. This is the way. She is going to be there. And then we have Tim Donaldson. We have C. Andrew Nelson, Alan Fernandez. So get a good in. lineup. People come to me and say, Rob, why did you pick these guys? They're my heroes. Uh... I want to meet the people that are my heroes, that I grew up watching, that I love watching on TV. So to reach out to Daniel and pester him for a <laughs> week on his messages, on Cameo. On... <laughs> By the way, Daniel is available on Cameo for birthday. No, actually, no, I'm not. So what happened was, I know the guys who started Cameo, and uh, I was going through a lot of filming at the time, and I had so many people reach out to me for Cameos, and I ended up not being able to fulfill the Cameos. So they took me off of Cameo because I didn't fulfill them, and I'm like, oh, no, I've been fired. And there hasn't been many times in my life I've been fired. Mark Austin is on Cameo, so let's do yes. this. If you guys want happy birthdays, anniversaries, <laughs> Mark Anthony Austin is on there. I think he's like fifty-four or fifty-nine dollars, and it, and it's well worth it. If you see yeah. Mark, he he will literally be like, he will literally jump on and be like, "I'm Boba Buffett. How are you doing?" And then he will pull like another character, and he'll be like, "Oh, by the way," num, 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 and he will have like a sound effect of the character, and then he will literally start talking to it like yeah. as if you're already interacting within the Star Wars world. Which I love. Yes, so Mark, Mark uh, Austin Anthony, he actually is one of the coolest people who's doing one of the cameos. Um, I'm loving the creativity. I'm loving the authenticity of him. He literally gives you his heart and his soul um, with him. And that's what I was doing too. And that for me why is why they took so long for me to respond back to cameos because I would literally do one cameo and be like, oh no, it wasn't good enough. And then I record it again back. Oh no, the one before was better. And then I'd do another one back. Oh no, this one truly sucks. And then it would take me like an hour just to do one person's cameo because I've literally have done like 20 cameos in that point just for one person to try to make it perfect for them. Yep. So also for those of you who are tuning in, um, tuning in or watching, um, <laughs> going to do some special autographed uh, pops, yep. some autographed photos for bounty boxes. We're going to do a special raffle where Daniel takes the Funko Pop prototype uh, Boba Fett. It's clear white. Daniel is going to use his Sharpies. He is going to color that in at the convention, and then we will raffle that one off. And I have a second one. So yep. you have true one of one Funko Pops that you won't be able to get anywhere. Exactly. Capitola Collecticon on March 6th. And don't judge me on my artistic skills, all right? My acting took a toll for a little bit. I mean, it been a punch, but it's coming back. So hopefully my artistic skills are coming back with it. So just start coloring now. Sit down with your son and just start coloring. Oh, you do not want him to color it. I trust me. There won't be anything left for me to color. <laughs> He's very artistic. But yes, um, we're jumping on. We're gonna be. We're gonna be in Santa Cruz on March the sixth. Sixth. There's gonna be wonderful opportunities. Not only giveaways. There's gonna be uh, autograph sessions. You can come and talk to all of us about uh, what parts we played in the galaxy. How cool it was. I mean. You have so many different stories of one character that literally was in the movie for 30 seconds. I somebody mean, but he was played by so many people. Somebody wrote Picasso Fett. Well, hey, you know what? Uh, I've been called Fett. worse, so I would take that. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> but yes, check out Capitola. Where can they get pre where can they pre-buy tickets? I was just gonna say that. So if they go to www.capitola, C-A-P-I-T-O-L. Hey, let's put it in the comments. You wanna put it in the comments and tag it? Um, yeah, capitolacollecticon.com. Uh, you can follow me and just hit our link in bio. Um, we have tickets available, they're going fast, especially now that we're doing these lives with Don earlier, with you now. Um, we're gonna try and do one with and Mark. to be honest, I, I don't mean to like discount it, but the tickets are so cheap, bro. I mean, that's what I didn't get. Like, the tickets are literally very well priced. They're so cheap. Everyone can afford to come. And it's going to be an amazing event where you are bringing literally so many of so many uh, people from so many different genres in one weekend to Santa Cruz. I, I, I don't know how you're doing it for so oh, cheap, to be honest. You know what? 
as a fan, not speaking as a convention promoter. Oh, Boba Fett Fan Club just yep. put it up for us, so let's. Boba Fett Fan Club. The... There you go. He's even yep. wearing the T-shirt. Our so, young man at the Boba Fett Fan Club has just put it up for you guys, so there you go. As a fan, Daniel, I got – what really bothered me was, was going to all these cons, and you got to pay – hundred dollars to get in or 50 or sixty dollars to get in and then you got to buy the autograph ticket which some stars charge you know a hundred two hundred dollars for an autograph yeah. i reached out to all of the celebrities that are coming to our show i gave them what my vision was of having a family friendly convention where kids under 12 are free and then there you go adults it's only 20 bucks a day or you buy a two-day ticket, it's $35. What happens if you have a kid the same size as a Jawa, but he might be 15 and he looks only 12? We'll let him in. We'll let him in. I'm bringing all my family because we're all Jawa size, so it's going to work out perfectly for all of us. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> I want to say thanks to the Boba Fett Fan Club. They're also a sponsor of this show yeah. coming on. Um, they have helped us get a lot of people come. But getting back to making it family-friendly and being – budget friendly you know 11 million people that don't have jobs still that are trying to figure out how to put food on the table how to do things for their families but also do something fun for their family and having them come out and even if they can't afford an autograph to just walk up to your table and fist bump you and see you and to say hi that's going to make some kids day and that's where i that's worth more than any penny, any dollar, anything I will ever make on conventions, that is the best feeling for me is to see a little kid with a smile on his face after meeting his hero. Because I be ear to ear the whole time. I'm gonna have to <laughs> because it's that but tickets are available, CapitolaCollecticon.com. Yeah. There's a link in my bio, there's a pin right there from Boba Fett Club. Aaron uh, Aaron at the Boba Fett Fan Club. Yeah. So, guys, it is very inexpensive. We also have a hotel deal. If you were driving into town, the Fairfield Inns and Suites Marriott, they're all suites, $168 a night. They're taking $50 off their room rate to give back to the community as well. Um, it's That's a awesome. hotel. Um, it's, it, it's beautiful. And it's one block away from the convention. So you can is that where the park. celebrities will be staying? I'm not going to, I'm not letting out. Because you never know if you stay at the same place as a, as, as a celebrity, if, if they like to maybe uh, enjoy the after hours at the hotel, you might run into them. We are working on an after hours party at another a bar here in town that um, will do some kind of blue beverage um, based Ooh. on the So um, like the blue milk, but it's going to be a blue beverage. Uh, <laughs> we are talks in with a bar in Santa Cruz. Um, or Capitola here to host an after party event where you can hang out with the Fets and have an adult soda and, you know, <laughs> hang out and talk to people that can't make the feast with the Fets because we sold out. Um, well, I mean, like, basically, the way I'm looking at it is, and I'm so excited because there's so many people from California that are just uh, wanting more conventions. And I heard you talking to Don Bees earlier about um, how you've gone about um, keeping it safe um, during this time with everybody. So maybe yes. you can explain some of the safety protocols. So the safety protocols we have in place, um, our county, Santa Cruz County, is making everybody wear a mask. Pretty much everywhere nowadays you're wearing a mask. Um, a lot of the actors and their family members who are attending have asked that we do a little bit stronger COVID protocols. So we are requiring everybody to have their vaccine card either on them or on their phone. Um, and um, or, or or a negative COVID test within three days. Seventy-two hours. Okay. We temperature scanning everybody, um, okay. and you get a um, like a COVID wristband that we have here. Perfect. So everybody is going to be pre-screened before they walk in. We do apologize if you are not vaxxed or you don't want to wear a mask. At this convention, we can't let you in. I'm sorry. So if you've bought tickets. Message me. I will gladly give you a refund and put you at the top of the list for the next convention we do. Um, we want. I mean, but it's not that big of an issue to no. wear a mask while you're inside. I mean, literally, the thing is that we're almost at the tail end of this thing. 
Um, and maybe next year, we won't even have to worry about any of these uh, precautions or any of these things. So I think what you're doing is you're keeping, you, you're basically covered everybody from if you are, if you're not, whatever you feel. Um, just all you have to do is get a COVID test within three days. Um, can you take the home test? That's what I was wondering when you were speaking to Don. Because I have home tests that I do myself. Yep. Um, or are you going to have any testing on site that maybe if people miss out on the fact that they did they, get that? We don't have any testing on site yet. Um, okay. That's a good question. Um, I will reach out to the county and see if there are any places that do Perfect. testing. Um, because I just went to a reptile convention. I, I mean, not support, like not, not, you know, not talking about a different subject. But I went to a reptile convention, and uh, basically, if you, I had proof of vaccination. But if you didn't have proof, um, uh, they would be able to uh, test you right then and there. You give them a little bit of information. They'll text you like within ten minutes to fifteen minutes, and then basically from then on, you're able to go back, get your wristband, and then you can uh, uh, freely enjoy the show. Well, the other cool thing too about it is the way we have 32,000 square feet of space. So we're inside an old Sears building that's no longer Sears. So what we are doing, we are not doing the typical con setup where it's table, 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 table. We are giving all the vendors who either buy a 10 by 20 or a 20 by 20 pod. So there will be a pod here and then eight feet to the next one, to the next one, to the next one. So you have full nice. free access to every vendor's product. Instead of saying, oh, hey, can you reach back there and get me that Turbo Man figure or get me that Boba Fett pop that's there. So people will walk around your whole table. There will be eight feet in between each pod. So that way it also opens that up as well. That is awesome. And I mean, going to so many conventions, I mean, the worst thing is walking down aisles that are like so small, you're like, boom, boom, boom. So I mean, eight feet is going to be great for a little man like me. I can just bob and weave between the crowds. I think it's going to make it even better, actually. I have also looked at other conventions that I've been to, and I have seen people who are in wheelchairs. They can't get around because everybody's like this close. So we right. make it available for them that they're the... That, that the walkways are four to six feet wide. Everybody has plenty of room to move. We have about 60 to 75 vendors coming from toys to plushies to wax from Cali Elite is coming to do box breaks with trading cards. We have a hot sauce guy from Felton, California coming down. But Daniel, one of the other coolest things on Saturday, we have um, a company from Tulare who owns the biggest private collection of Sons of Anarchy memorabilia. They are bringing three motorcycles that were used on Sons of Anarchy. Uh, uh, really cool is, when you buy your photo op ticket, that's got Chris Reed, who played Filthy Phil, and Ryan Hurst, who was Opie, you get to sit on the bike that they rode in the show for your selfie with those guys that are still uh, that is literally legit. That's like literally taking a picture with all the fits in the slave one. Yep. So you get to hang out on the bike, get your pictures taken. And also the bike that Jax rode, that was his dad's when he did the final scene, when he smashed into the truck, that bike will be there too. They're going to bring all of the show worn props, Jax's helmet, his sneakers, they're going to have the Teller Morrow work shirts that you're going to be able to see and touch and take pictures with. But the motorcycles is the, you get to sit on the bike because is... <laughs> when o Opie died, and I'm not going to say killed, when Opie died, they gave that motorcycle to Chris Reed, who played Filthy Phil with some modifications on it. And that's the same bike they both rode. You're going to get to sit on it and get your pictures taken with both of the actors as your photo op. That is pretty cool. That you, is really cool. You can't go to cons and get stuff like that done. Usually they don't want you to touch anything. Just take a picture. Well, I mean, props are usually worth quite a bit of money, and they usually don't want you to touch their props. So, I and they, mean, like Rob, if they want to sit on the bike, they can sit on the bike. I had to take out a larger insurance policy for this, but you'll be able to get to sit on the bike and get your pictures taken. And it's, uh, it's you know, that's what I'm saying, guys. Capitola Collecticon is doing more than the average convention is doing. We're still at 
you know, somewhat in this pandemic. But yeah. it's shows like this that make us realize that there's still the light at the end of the tunnel. We're literally like months away. We're, uh, we're excuse me, we're 43 days away, Daniel. 43 uh, days away. So, I mean, literally, guys, if you have no plans, if you're looking forward to getting back in the convention circuit and back out in the, on the road again, bring your kids, bring your family, uh, bring your animals. Maybe don't get that carried away, but bring your kids and your family. Come on out. And it's going to be in Santa Cruz on March 4th, 5th, and 6th. Beautiful here in Santa Cruz. Um, the boardwalk might be open that weekend, too. So if you want to go ride the rides and then come back to the convention, you can. Um, somebody just put a picture, post up saying, can you bring items from home? Yes. If you have anything you want signed, all you got to do is just buy the autograph ticket for whichever celebrity you want. The celebrity handler um, will be sitting at the table. They'll get this little piece right here. You get your item signed. The other thing, too, is we are not allowed, due to COVID, we are not allowing anybody to lean in with the actor and take a selfie. You have to buy a photo op. Unless picture. you're with me. Then I'll lean in and I'll kiss, hug, and do everything. I mean, oh. I'm Boba Fett. I'm the chosen clone. Yeah, Omega. Sometimes was I have to break the rules. But Omega. yes, come on out. I will hug and kiss you and your kids and children, whatever. Bring them Omega. out. Hey, Daniel, Omega was the chosen clone. We all know that. <laughs> exactly. So, like I said, this is going to be a wonderful time. Rob, I'm just so grateful that you have actually taken the time uh, to put all this together and make it to where we're still able to enjoy events like this in California. I, I want to thank you as well for teaming up with me and, and making this happen for us. You're very welcome. Very because welcome. I didn't meet you. None of the Star Wars Sunday was going to happen because all we were going to have was Emily and then you were like, Emily's coming. I have to go. And then <laughs> Austin was like, I got to go. And then you were like, Robbie, Dickie Beer wants to come. They bring him. Robbie, I got John Morton. <laughs> so people, don't thank me. I want you to thank Daniel for helping me put this on together. And if this goes really well, we're going to take this on the road to maybe Riverside next year or to another oh. California or maybe Phoenix or Miami. We, Daniel, we have a couple of people coming from Melbourne, Australia, to meet you. They are what? We have people coming from Miami, Austin, oh, New York City, <laughs> Detroit, who are all <laughs> on to meet the Star Wars people because not all of you guys do the conventions. Uh, one man. Time. I don't cry, but yeah, that gave me a little bit of tears. We have two people coming from Melbourne, Australia, to meet with you and, and, and to see you. And it's... <clears throat> I thank you. You're more, you, you are more of a promoter for this con than I am. I'm just the guy in the back that knows the guy that's doing this. And <laughs> to put everybody together, March 4th and 6th, March 4th is the VIP night. Chris, um, sorry, James Durbin, um, season 10 of American Idol. He also voiced um, Anthony, he also voiced C3PO in a thing, yeah? You mean the golden robots? Oh I am C three PO, yeah. the protocol yep. droid. Yep. You he mean did a, you mean yeah. this guy? Oh, <clears throat> yeah. Version he voiced C three PO. Yeah. He's done a few of the covers as well, um, and he did uh, Turbo Man right here from Jingle All the Way. Uh, he is the voice of that. Um, he was also the the lead singer for Quiet Riot for a little bit. So he's going to do a special acoustic set Friday night, like six or seven songs. And it's going to be very intimate. A hundred people total. That's it. A hundred people. I'm loving, I'm oh, loving the fact that you're giving these intimate opportunities for fans to be able to get back. I mean, as you said, conventions have grown so large that basically it, there has no longer become a meet and greet. It is just purely an autograph opportunity and then you're gone. Yeah, you're um, gone. Okay, one, two, three, picture. One, two, three, picture. We're here when we do the photo ops. You're going to get a couple minutes to get it done. Um, we're going to take the pictures with your phone because that kept our expenses down too. We're the professional photo <laughs> in. They Wait, you're taking all the pictures with my phone? No. The no, I know, I know. <laughs> you said with your phone. I'm like, wait, yeah. are they all going to be on my phone? So my everyone's going to get a text message from me. Yeah. <laughs> so you'll be able to take a selfie. Um, and if you take a photo op with any of the actors or celebrities, it's four people plus the celebrity. So we're making that a, instead of just one person. Because that's people, really generous. 
And photo ops, some are as low as $20 and some are as high as like 50 bucks. But right. we made it affordable and the combo ticket. So we have an autograph and photo op combo ticket for a lot of the celebrities as well to even bring the cost down more for you guys. So what, so not only are you doing a generous price on admission, you're doing generous prices on autographs and photo ops, but you're also going to be doing raffling where you're going to yep. be giving away um, not only one pop, but like four, three or four pops, uh, a black series figure, and one of the very rare but very exclusive uh, six fits, which is also signed by Tim Water, Mars, and Django fit. Yep. You yep. can't go wrong. Guys, if you guys want a wonderful time, if you guys want to enjoy yourselves, get out of the house, come out to another show that's going to be a wonderful time, especially if you're in the California area. Santa Cruz, we yep. will be there March 6th, but yep. there's other great actors and actresses coming the 4th, the 5th, and again, we will be there the 6th. So, and, all of, and, and how we're going to do it is, all of the Boba Fets are going to come out at 1 o'clock. We're going to introduce you guys. You're going to sit behind your chairs. I suggest to make sure you beat the lines. We have front of the line passes for only 10 bucks. So oh, that's nothing. go from FET to FET to FET to FET to FET. You're all taken care of. You're in and out in like 15 minutes. Also, um, some of you guys I know are going to resell these autographs. James Spence authentication is going to be on location to be able Beautiful. to pay all of the signatures that are done in-house for $10. If you have something from home that already has an autograph on it, you want to get authenticated, you come in and you talk to them and it's a different price. But anything that gets autographed during that day is 10 bucks. Somebody's on there saying, why do I have to live on the East Coast? If you DM me and you want to send me something to get these guys to sign, we will make that happen for you. If you see something that is awesome. selling, we will make that happen for you. So see, that's the only thing I don't do on bounty boxes. I don't do uh, sentence because I'm scared of taking possession of other people's things and I'm scared that I would destroy them or they might get ruined or lost in the mail. Uh, but that's a wonderful thing because if you're part of Bounty Boxes and you would like to get all five of our fets uh, signed on one, um, on one thing, yep. this is your opportunity because obviously if you're going to do sentence, this is the way, as they say in The Mandalorian. This is the way. Exactly. So again, Daniel, thank you for having me on tonight. I, I you're know welcome. An hour with you. Um, we'll try and do this again as we get closer to the con. Um, yep. maybe we can do a uh, you, me, Mark, and maybe Don or Dickie on here together so we can have a little... We'll get all the fets at once. That's, that'd be great. Um, people, this is a very fan-friendly event. If you want to come, please come. If finances are an issue, DM me. We'll make something work for you guys. I want you to experience Thanks, okay. heroes with me. This is just an amazing event that Daniel and I were able to get together within a couple of months time. Um, yeah. Thank you for those who have bought tickets already. I thank you to everybody who is going to come and attend ahead of time. Come up and say hi to me. Um, I will be there. We have some special limited edition. Pins? Pins. Oh, yes. Oh. You've got those awesome pins. So we have 50 of these pins made that are half of the armorer helmet and half of the Boba Fett helmet. Without you even knowing what was to come in the future, and you produced that. Yep. So we have only 50. No spoilers, but. And I'm the only one that will have them in my pocket. They're not going to be at our merch table, so you have to come find me to get the pin. They're $20 each or two for 30 but there's That's only. A great price. There's only 50, and that's it. And I'm not going to redo them ever again. So 50. Oh, actually, guys, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh -oh. I have an exclusive that I want to show you guys that I'll be signing. Guys, this is amazing. I'm hanging out with Boba Fett. So I have these that were just made, that oh. we had just made. All right, so I'll be signing these at the convention. But also, if you join Bounty Boxes, you have a chance to get a limited edition of a special color of me and Tim Wera Morrison, who played Boba Fett, signed it. So I haven't even showed you this yet, Rob, but we will have these available at the con. So whoever is going to come, if you're interested, you've kept up with the latest episodes on the book of Boba Fett, you will get the first 
dibs or one of the first dibs at my latest 8x10, which goes to show basically the history of Boba Fett. And it's, it sums up his whole entire life almost within one picture. So if you guys, I've got one of those. Actually, I've got one of those right over here. So we talked to the artist who did this and he has given us exclusive. Check out this. So Did we have, yeah, we have these prints available. We talked to the artist in Connecticut. Who Wait, does us. yours do that? Does yours do this? Show off. Sorry, well, I always get the best stuff, you know. So yes, guys, if you wonder if you send me stuff or you give me stuff, I actually do keep it all. And it's so funny. I just, I just pulled this out of my archives the other day, and you just had that sitting behind you. Yeah. But mine's made out of metal, like. Like out of best guard. It's like almost like a um like a uh, Australian uh didgeridoo, you know? So we talked to the artist who actually did that. He gave us exclusive rights to sell this print at our show. You can't buy this print unless you go through him and buy it. We can't sell this photo unless it has the autographs on it. That's well, you need to tell him Daniel Logan still has his out print. <laughs> I'm going to take a How do you like that? Go back up with that, Daniel. Oh, here. Yeah. Hang on. Perfect. Got it. So, people, there is going to be some amazing art and prints and all sorts of stuff. Hang on, Daniel. I'm going to one-up you on that. All right. Unless you have one that's metal, I don't think you're going to be able to one-up me. Yes, so as we were just saying, if you just joined, what we're going to do is I'm going to actually paint this Funko. Uh, I'll take it out of the box. I will paint it with my Sharpies. I'll paint them up really beautifully. Um, you don't know what color scheme I'm going to do until you win it. But what we're going to do is uh, at the main booth, when you sign in, there's going to be a raffle opportunity. And if you want to jump in on the raffle, we're going to have a whole yeah. table set up for the raffle. Oh, okay, so there's going to be the table of the raffle. So Ethicon, if you're interested and you want to get a very rare limited, which I've never done this before, I will paint up the two up because you have one. Yep, I want two. One is going to be for that Grant Imahara, yep. and then one we'll actually do for another charity that we'll choose later. Perfect. Um, and we'll have these available at Capitola uh, Collecticon. I'll also have this guy, which will be signed. It's already signed by three fits. You've got Dickie Bear, the stunt double. You've got Mark Austin, who played in the special edition. is an amazing guy. That's almost like a Disney, uh, or, I was going to say tattoo, Disney autograph. Look at how nice that is. And then you've got my ADHD signature that, don't don't uh, blame me, I grew up in New Zealand. Um, then we're also going to have one of these black series that's already signed by two of us. We'll get the rest of the fets to sign. But the best one that I'm going to say, which is an 8x10, we will have one of these or possibly two of these available, which have the original Django Fett, uh, who played uh, Tim Water Morrison, who played Django Fett. You have Dickie Bears here, and then Mark Austin, Don Bees, and myself will sign the rest. They are very rare. There's not very many people who have this 8x10 signed by all six fits. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Oh, wow. Yeah, I do not have that one. Nope. So we have this available. We have the blueprint patent of the Boba Fett. This was oh a blueprint that was submitted to the United States Patent Office for the Boba Fett. We have these. And are you ready for this? <laughs> Boba Fett. <laughs> Disney licensed Boba Fett backpacks we got from the Mouse Direct. We have 24 of them here at the show. So you can load it up with your pops and you can just walk around with your bo badass Boba Fett backpack. And so, you can get that signed by all five fets. How cool would that be? Five fets as well. So um, people who are online, um, Santa Cruz is just west of San Jose. Um, we are on the coast. We're about a four and a half hour drive from LA. Um, if you're flying in, you're gonna fly into the San Jose airport and Uber over, it's like a $40 Uber ride. Um, we have a hotel deal with the Fairfield Inns and Suites Marriott. You can feel free to DM me. 
Um, we have about 60 to 70 vendors right now. And because everybody is coming on and seeing this, I'm sure by the time is here, we're going to have closer to 100 vendors. Also, <laughs> uh, pops, action figures, plushies. Um, I might have to get myself a, a vendor's booth just so I can bring bounty boxes to your show. Well, Daniel, if you want to ship your bounty boxes out here, we'll store them up here in the store. We'll give you a booth and we'll have somebody man your booth for you to sell your bounty boxes. <laughs> Oh, I appreciate you. I cherish you. I can't wait till we end up uh, seeing each other. And this is going to be a wonderful event. This is Guys, an amazing event. So, yes. Thanks to Aaron. Park, Park, um, bounty boxes. Daniel's going to bring bounty boxes. So make sure you get your tickets. We, If these sell out, people, we're not going to print any more. So get your tickets. CapitolaCollecticon.com. Um, if you have any questions through me or through Daniel, Dan I know, look at him. See, you can do that. Mm. Mm. <laughs> but folks, just remember, all five Fets have never been in a room together to do autographs. Um, and who knows? No, he, no I, we, we have never uh, all been in one, in one place at the same time. Yeah, so, I mean, if this is your opportunity, guys, um, as you guys see how quickly things can move and how progression of age happens you never know when this is going to be a last opportunity to see us so um uh we have um john morton um who i can't wait to see um uh dickie bear they're they're getting a little older in the galaxy and uh dom Bees, he just doesn't age dom Bees is the man like i said i've known dom Bees for you know close to 30 years and uh when he finally jumped on board it just really fulfilled my heart because i was like yes now we can make this well, get and yeah. I, I messaged him. I pretty much begged him <laughs> to happen. And he reached out to you. He reached out to Mark Anthony Austin to make sure we were legit. You guys all said, yes, this is what we're doing. It's the first time all five of you guys have been in a room together to sign autographs. Um, this is something you guys want to be part of. 10 years from now, when some of these fets are not going to be around anymore, you're going to say, I was at Capitola Collecticon in 2022. I got Daniel Logan, Dickie Beers, Don Bees, John Morton, Mark Anthony Austin, all on. <laughs> and if you already have a Jeremy Bullock photo, that's going to be six on that print. That's like, that's like these. I'll be bringing these up. These aren't for sale, all right? So don't ask me to buy them. Hey, can I buy that? I, wanna, oh. I just need... I just need uh, two other fets, including well, one other fet, I guess, including myself. Well, so, we have autograph tickets available, Daniel, depending on the guy who you want. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, you know what? You not, might see me in someone's line just because I'm a fet, fet fan too, and I'm going to have to obviously give me some autographs well, while I'm out there. Line pass so you can uh, get in front. Uh, miss your chances in Nashville. Who knows? Maybe next year we will put up a poll. Where do you want to see our convention come to? <laughs> we'll go to a city that we get a lot of people. I know we get a lot of questions from people from Australia. Hey, come do your show there. Cons don't happen in Australia. One quick thing. We were this close, this close to getting Giancarlo Esposito to come to our show. Yeah. But he got a better offer, and I can't – I couldn't have touched this offer – from a Comic-Con in Abu Dhabi, Dubai, our same weekend. At that point, I was like, go make that money, because I don't have that kind of money to pay for you for that. Actually, you know what's funny? I've been offered since I said yes to your show for like three other shows. I just got offered one today in Scotland, and I said no. I Are said, I am a man of my word, and I am sticking to Santa tell Cruz. Tell everybody yeah. about the Comic-Con at the end of the month. Tell everybody where well, you Yes, if you are, if you are uh, obviously in England, I am going to be in London Film Comic Con. Um, that's going to be in February the 26th through the, the 25th through the 27th. Yep. Um, it's one of my only appearances I'm going to be making this year in England. So if you guys want, come check me out in London. Uh, I come right back. I go into quarantine. And then I am out uh, hanging out in Santa Cruz, California. So, guys, if you guys are interested, if you're in the area of, of Santa Cruz from 
uh, Vegas to uh, Utah to um, Oregon, wherever you might be, that's close enough for you to drive. I highly recommend you come out and see all the fits that we have coming out to the show because you know what? Like Rob said, this is one of the only opportunities to be able to get all five in one room at the same time. And free parking for everybody. Oh, wow. That's a good thing. I'm driving in, so I'm going to need that. You know what I mean? I know. So everybody... There's going to be a QR code that I'm going to put up in the parking lot that you're going to have to scan, and it's going to come back to my uh, uh, back to me. But give, you paid your $10 for parking. Perfect. <laughs> thank you to everybody who jumped on our live tonight. I want to thank you, Daniel Logan, for helping me and inviting me on his live. He's not on, my, on his. <laughs> Thank you for reaching out to me. Thank you for making on accessible for everybody and bringing the rest of your bro uh, brother Fets. Uh, yeah. And it's going to be amazing night. California's finest cards are going to do the box break. We got the Boba Fett fan club coming. We have the Wolves of Mandalore. We have the Mandalorian Mercs. We have the 501st Legion. <laughs> Different garrisons are coming. We have the Rebel Alliance coming. Folks, this is we have our two units a chomper, and we have a mouse droid coming. So, folks, you get to take your picture with all the, the, the droids and everything. If you want to sign up and be like a 501st member, or if you're a rebel scum, you can sign up with them. Um, or a merc. Don't forget about the Mandos. The Mandalorian mercs. Yes, we have the mercs coming. <laughs> uh, the Wolves of Mandalore. Uh, I know Mark just had a great time at ShroudCon in Texas. That's what I asked him. I said, where in the universe is this? And he's he said, in, oh, Texas. in Texas. Okay. Fireworks. It was an outdoor con. Um, one of my fan favorites, Little Miss Marshall. She does an amazing Cara Dune cosplay. One of the best I've ever seen. We also reached out to, to Gina Carano's people. She's not doing cons at this time. We really wanted her. We wanted her, Moff Gideon. Mark Hamill. Mark I see you reached out to everybody. So we're, we're like daring Mark Hamill to come. We have some makeup. So, hang on, hang on, real quick. Because we have some more people asking where we're at. Where is it going to be in Santa Cruz? Okay. Where, what, what is the location? At the Capitola Mall, 1855 41st Avenue, um, inside the old Sears. There's like 3,000 parking spaces that are free. Uh, they have handicap entrances. Um, if you buy the VIP tickets for Friday night, there's a special entrance. Um, we do have vendor spaces available. So if you are a vendor on the fence, I would suggest you sign up now because after February 1st, vendor tables go up another $200 a table. Um, we, have, we have handfuls of tickets left. The Feast with the Fets tickets are sold out. Um, you guys missed that. We sold 25 tickets in 12 minutes for Feast with the Fets. <laughs> so on 4th, 5th, and 6th, Capitola Mall, Capitola, California, Feel free to check out that pin that the Boba Fett fan club graciously pinned there. Um, doors open at 10 o'clock, close at 6. Um, again, Daniel, thank you so much for inviting me on your live. Thank okay. you so much for reaching out to the other Fets to come on board with this. I know as a fan, I'm going to totally geek out at this, but I got to keep my composure as the promoter. <laughs> but um, thank you again. We love bounty boxes. Um, thank you boxes on Facebook, folks. We're going to be doing some great raffles. Um, the Grant Imahara Foundation, um, Don Bees is the president of that foundation. We're going to be doing a raffle for 16 by 20, where all the FETs will sign it. You'll get, take your picture with the FETs, um, and we're going to donate all the money to them. Daniel has some great things that we're going to auction off there. We have a one of one. Have I left? Uh, prototypes, um, Boba Fett pops that were released that are pure white that they're going to color. Um, when is this happening again? March 4, 5, and 6. Hi! Hi! Am I going to see you next month? <laughs> yeah. All right. This kid looks more like young Boba Fett than I do nowadays. Look at him. Don't say out loud because colonial cast him. Oh. There you go, Rob. You were so lucky he sung you a song. I, I feel and everybody else. 
can you can sing as much as you want. The stage is yours. Wish you Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, <laughs> the two days that one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Uh, I love you. Shout out to Kiki Collectibles. Kiki Collectibles is one of our premier vendors. Um, they bought a 10 by 30 space. They have some amazing things. Yeah. So, Thank you, sir. Um, let's wrap this up. Daniel's going to be at the Capitola Collective mm -hmm. along with five mm -hmm. bets. Four of them. Mm -hmm. March 6th. Yep. We have Sons of um, Sizemore. Friday night VIP night is with James Durbin. Um, mm -hmm. A special acoustic songs so make sure you guys come out Daddy, um, I want that letter one. I'm a letter robot that's not robot that's C3PO son I want a BPO 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 <laughs> <Three -pio. laughs> well okay, you, know. you guys are lucky because I never really show off this beautiful little boy but he hey, decided yeah, to join us so he's getting old enough to say I want to jump on um but yeah guys I'm gonna go and be a daddy uh Boba Fett is now done uh, I got to go hang out with this clone. But, guys, come and join us um, for uh, Capitola Collector Con. It's uh, going to be a beautiful event. There's not really, there's not really many opportunities in, uh, in California. And uh, I thank you, Rob, for uh, bringing this opportunity, not to only me. Thank you. Have a great night. Everybody, thanks for tuning in. Um, we're going to try again just before the con. Hang out. All right. We love you from the Logan household. Say have a good night. Okay, wait, wait, we got one more thing. There you go, Rob. You even got a special guest appearance from my little clone. Awesome. Guys. Come out and join us. We're going to have a wonderful time. You're not going to want to miss this beautiful con. Rob has put on a fantastic event for everybody of all ages. Like he said, it's so it's not so cheap, Daddy! but it's so uh it's priced Daddy! so right. Oh, this is what is this called? This is this is yours. Thank you, son. This is my Yes, these are my collectibles. Yeah, I can play. No, you can't play with Daddy's collectibles. Thank you, son. Um but yes, Rob has put on a fantastic event. Um where you're not going to want to miss it. If you guys haven't had a chance to meet any of the fits, this is your one chance to meet all of them at once. And uh, not only that, come out on Friday and Saturday because there's also great other um, actors from different genres that are going to be there as well. So it's not all about Star Wars. It's all about the fans being out to meet people that they have always wanted to reach. And uh, you never know. You might be one of the lucky people to win one of the raffles. And you also might be one of the lucky people to sit on a bike that was actually in the um, show, The Sons of Anarchy, and you might actually feel like you're a pretty badass, like, uh, I mean, not like me, <clears throat> like uh, Ryan Hurst. You had to show those <laughs> guns, right? Really? Really, Boba? Exactly. <laughs> Any chance I could show these new things off, you know? I just, I just got them recently. So, you know, they're, uh, they're brand new to me, and I, I'm kind of liking them, actually. You need to return them because they don't look good on you. Oh, man. All right. I'll have to see if I can get my refund. <laughs> All right, guys. Come and join us at Bounty Boxes and on the 6th for the coolest collector con at here in uh, California. You don't want to miss it. You're going to, uh, if you miss it, there might be a bounty put on your head. So come on and join us, all right? Do you take Republic? Hang on, let's say some shout outs to some quick people real quick. Somebody we have, we take Republic credits. Are we going to take Republic credits at this? Uh, only if they're worth as much as best guy. Um, all right, so we have, uh, let's say a quick couple of shout outs. Okay, we have Kilroy for Perez. Real Reaper 15, the Park Paletti, sorry if I say your name wrong, my lovely moderator over at Bounty Boxes, uh, Natasha Chavez. Uh, we have the Power Ranger couple. Yep. Again, we are uh, Diego Monterrey, sorry if I say your name wrong, Justin, a little go goblin junior. The Boba Fett fan uh, club for coming on tonight. The Boba Fett fan club, you've got it. Red Dog Empire uh, Diorama, uh, C Fett 77. TJR33, uh, Survivor Joshua, the Red Man 546. Uh, looks uh, like if I missed you guys, art. thank you looks so much for tuning in. Looks like Sita Art is on here. We got the Power Ranger couple, Bandito Brick. We got, got it. California's uh, Lady Death Strike. This, everybody's coming out of the woodwork now because they see you live and me live. So, Daniel, again, thank you so much.
Um, I will see you in a couple of weeks. I'll talk to you this week as well on other things going on. Wolfman 70. <laughs> Hang on. And I got to say this one. Always on it for the loop. Kyle Smoot is here. That's awesome. And one of my great friends, Edward Gomez and his lovely wife. And uh, one of my aunties is in here, Casey Sharon Murray. So uh, there you go. CFET77 is one of my followers. So I want to say uh, all you guys too. Ma Doron, hello, Real Reaper again. You're very welcome, Real Reaper. Guys, if you guys want to have a good time, come on and join us at the uh, Capitola Convention, uh, Eclecticon. Uh, the wonderful Aaron from the Boba Fett Fan Club has uh, posted up. I've tagged it. If you guys are watching it live, if you're going to watch it later, come on and check us out, guys. You're not going to want to miss this wonderful con. Thanks, Daniel. Appreciate it, buddy. You're welcome. Have May the force be with you all, always. And also this is the way. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>